Hello kids, how are you today? Hope you're doing well. Okay, this time let's have reading of vocabularies. Okay. Let's start reading our vocabularies. The first word is flower. Everybody, flower. Let us spell the word flower. F L O W E R. Flower. Good. Now let's proceed to the second word. Number two is plants. Everybody, plants. Again, plants. Let us spell the word plants. P L A N T S. Plants. Next, the third word is the word stand. 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 Okay, let us spell the word stand. S T A N D. Stand. Okay, now this time we will have a, a review from our uh, first topic about living thing until about plants okay let's have a review for a while okay now let's start now now let's uh, start first with living things what is living things living things are things that are alive okay now when we say alive it means have life okay and next so if the thing is a living thing so they need also food water and air to stay alive okay that is the living thing and also they have the ability to reproduce or give birth okay they can reproduce and they can give birth or they can make another living things and next they also grow and change on their own okay and responds to changes in environment okay that is the characteristic of a living things okay now let's proceed to non-living things now in non-living things this is uh, the, the meaning of non-living things okay non-living things these things do not need food water and air so in non-living things they don't need to have food water and air and also these things do not have the ability to reproduce or give birth and grow okay now this is uh, non-living things is the opposite of living things okay and non-living things they don't have the ability to reproduce they cannot make uh, another living things without what human okay and they will not grow also okay now next next let's proceed to parts of the plants okay can you name some parts of the plants okay the first one is roots next stem next leaf or leaves flower and fruit and seeds okay all that one is a part of the plant okay now let's proceed to next now let's talk about first roots okay what is a roots roots holds the plant in the soil again roots hold the plants in the soil okay that is the work of the roots and another one is always remember this one the roots takes the soil and uh, the water to the stem again the roots takes the water to the stem 
Okay, so it means the roots bring the water going to the stem. Okay, that is the work of the roots. Now, next, let's proceed to next, the stem. Okay, what is a stem? Stem is, or the stem takes water to the leaf. Okay, after the root takes water from uh, uh, from the soil going to the uh, stem, and the stem also, they uh, or, or they will bring the water going to the leaf. Okay, and the next one is, it carries water and nutrients from the roots to different parts of the plants. Okay. The stem will distribute the water and the nutrients from the roots going to their different parts. Okay. And always remember this one. The stem of the tree is called trunk. Okay. It's called trunk. Okay. The stem of the tree is called trunk. Now, don't forget to uh, uh, don't don't forget about that one okay again the stem of the tree is called trunk okay next let's proceed to what is this very good leaves now what is the work of the leaves leaves capture sunlight to make food for the plants okay always remember that one the underlined word to make food for the plants okay that is the work of the leaves to get our to capture sunlight to make food for the plants and this process also is called photosynthesis okay again photosynthesis okay that is the process uh, on how plants get uh, get the uh, capture the sunlight to make food for the plants okay now let's proceed to what's this okay the leaves make food also for the plants okay the uh, the leaves also is the one who make food for the plants and the leaves need also water air sunlight to make food for the plants okay so not only the sunlight but they uh, the leaves also need water air to what to make food very good okay now next one okay do you know what is this very good it's a flowers now the flowers help the plant to make new plants okay Okay, always remember that the, the flower helps the plants to make new plant. Okay, always remember that one. That is the work of the flower. And next is, their petals are colorful to attract insect. Okay, have you seen that, that having a color, uh, a color, a colored part of the flower? Okay, that part is called petals. This is called petals. Okay, the colored part of the flower. And the use of that petals is to attract insect. So that the insect will come in and get some nectar. And after that, the process of that is called pollination. Because some pollen grain will fall from the fur of the uh, from the fur of the bees or the from the uh, butterflies okay they will carry pollen pollen grain and after that the pollen will fall to the flower and that pollen will develop into what into seeds okay very good now let's talk about seeds okay have you seen all that one Okay, all that example are fruits right and fruits and all these fruits have seed seeds in them right okay now what is seeds seeds are the part of the plant that make new 
plants. Okay. This is now uh, the the work of the seed is to what? Is to make new plants. Okay. And when they germinate or the word germinate it means to start to grow, they will develop into new plants. Okay. That is all about seeds. Now, here, some plants make fruit, right? Okay, we will talk about fruit now, this time. Okay, and fruit have seed in them. Okay. And the fruit and the seeds help the plant to make new plants. Okay. Okay, the fruit and the seeds of the plants help the plant to make new plants. Okay. Okay, this time let's have our activity. Kindly open your book, a science subject, on page number 23 and till number 24. Okay, for our activity number one, label the plant. Okay, and complete the sentences. Okay, there are sentences there that is not yet completed. So we are going to complete it. Okay, okay, now, number one, or first part is this one. I know you know that one. Okay, and the second one is, what's this? Okay, in the middle of the flower, what is that? Okay, and how about this? Next, this. And next one is this part. Okay, now, I have here an example Okay, for number uh, the first uh, part of the plant is the flower. Okay, now using that, using that word, so you are going to write here also in the blank help the plant make blank and black. Okay, now here using the word flower, you are going to write over here before the word helps. Okay. Okay, so the answer will be the flower helps the plant make what? New plant. Very good. So, okay, you need to answer it and complete the sentences. Okay? So, did you understand? Okay. And for the second one is the blank help the plant blank new plant. Okay, what part is that? What part of the flower is this? This one. Okay. And then answer here the correct word, uh, the correct part of this flower. And the next one is, okay, this one. Okay. What part of the plant is this? Okay. And write your answer in the blank. And using that word, you are going to answer, uh, you are going to make a sentence using that word and complete this uh, not uh, this sentence the blank takes water to the blank okay we're going to use that one okay and the next one is this this part of the plan okay what is this okay and write your answer over here and don't forget to complete the sentences and next one is this one what part of the plant is this? And then put your answer inside this uh, blank. And after that, complete this sentence. Did you understand? Okay, very good. Now let's proceed to activity number two. Okay. Kindly open your book on page number or pages number 24 until 25. Okay, for page number 24 to 25, you are going to make sentences by using the word on the left. And, this is my tip, find your sentence, uh, find your sentences in your book. Okay, use your book to answer this uh, word, uh, using this word and make a sentence, okay? Okay, just like for example here, I have here an example for first word. The first word is the word plant. Okay, plants, okay, using that one. 
Can you make a sentence using the, the word plants? Okay, I have here an example. Plants are living things. That is my example. So, for the next word, you will be the one who make a sentence. Okay? okay the word is need. Okay, using the word need, can you please make a sentence? And don't forget to find your answer or your sentences in your book. Okay. Now, the next one is the word non-living. Okay, non-living. Using the word non-living, you can make uh, a sentence using the word non-living. Next, must. Okay, must. Using the word must. Now, using must, you are going to make a sentence. Okay? And the last one will be some. Okay? Some. Okay, the word some. And use that one to make a sentence. Okay. Now, let's proceed to activity number three. For activity number three, so... This one. The first question is, what do we call the stem of a tree? Again, what do we call the stem of a tree? Okay, the stem of a tree. What do we call that one? I uh, review a while ago, right? Okay, I discussed that a while ago. Okay, hope you remember it. Okay, for number two, the question will be, what do you think will happen if a plant does not have water? Okay, again. What do you think will happen if a plant does not have water? Okay, what do you think? Okay. So, answer it in the blank. Okay, and make complete sentence. Okay, answer it in a complete sentence. Next, number three, why do some plants have a big roots? Again, why do some plants have a big roots? Okay, why? Some plants have big roots. Okay, so that's all for today. Okay, see you next time. And stay safe, stay home, and stay healthy. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you for listening and thank you for participating our uh, discussion this time. Have a nice day and goodbye, everybody.